In this video, we're going to uh, briefly look at the writing strategy of using timestamped synchronized audio for writing. But as I'm telling you about this, I'm using an application called Audio Note on the iPad. So what I'm going to do on, on Audio Note here on the iPad is I'm going to hit this record button up here and record everything I'm talking about and then explain to you what really happened with the timestamping and the synchronization. So we're talking about timestamp synchronized audio for writing. This happens to be the audio note app that we're using. It's very simple, low cost and free. There are other applications, but this one is one of the simplest. So this application allows for multimedia writing. And so I'm going up here to my pen and the application allows for multimedia writing, which includes drawing and handwriting and typing, voice recording and speech recognition. So it's really all of these different methods of writing. And the important thing about that is that the timestamps means that as we're talking about all of these items, it is synchronizing the audio recording with the marks that I'm actually making here. Now for a document as small as this, that may not be particularly useful, but when you're having a student uh, listen to a lecture, listen to a lesson, or listen to some video or audio, and as the student is making notes, they can be writing keywords. So just as I was making dots here, that the student could be typing keywords. And as they're typing, the audio is then synchronized to the time that they're typing or the location that they're typing those uh, keywords. This is very useful. And I would say it's really useful for most students. And I really would say it's useful for most students regardless of their age and their grade level. And really the content can be anything. Students can draw pictures, they can draw diagrams, maps, they can be um, writing notes, they can be handwriting notes. So really the content is age and grade appropriate for the student, but the actual process of using synchronized audio can be used for students of every age. So I hit the stop button there now. If I hit the play button, you'll see what happens is if I go and touch the actual marks that I made while I was recording, it's going to play back what was said at that time. And so I'm going to show you that now and then just talk about why that's relevant or important. Indication allows for multimedia writing and writing and typing and speech recognition. So it's really, really useful for most students. But I'd say it's useful for most students regardless of their... Okay, that wasn't terribly loud, but I think you could hear that. So essentially, if you have a student who is taking notes in a classroom situation, listening to a teacher, lots of content, and many students that we work with have, really, even students that are not identified with special needs, uh, with special needs, a lot of them have difficulty keeping up and taking notes. So what this allows the student to do is write whatever notes they can, either handwriting or typing. They can be typing or handwriting or drawing. Um, as the teacher is talking and then when they go back they can very quickly get to very specific locations and then hear what was being said at that time. So really a, an extremely useful um, application and next in this video I'm going to show you a student, student use of the uh, program just so that you can see what, um, how a student would use that and then in the database of writing tools, I'll be uploading other videos of work that student have, students have completed so that it gives you an idea of the range of ways that you can use synchronized audio for writing.